Maria's top winds, as you see, are now 155 miles an hour. The winds are ferocious right now. Hurricane Maria barreled through St. Croix overnight before roaring ashore in Puerto Rico. The first pictures now coming in from Puerto Rico after taking a direct hit. Hurricane Maria slamming into the island, and as you heard, one official saying the island is destroyed. My name is Maria Rivera, and I work to the municipality of Ponce. My Hurricane Maria impact a lot in my, in my community. Um, when I see the, the faces uh, of the people, of the kids, it's impossible. It's impossible that I see them and not involved to that. And, and I need to help. Uh, we we uh, talked to my, my sisters of the Women on Steel, and we solicited a donations of clothes, uh, water, um, um, food. We, we did a, 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 a great work. With, with the community, with the people. I think we inspire, we inspire all, all the women, not only the women of steel, the women in the community. The United States worker for me is more than a family. It's he, he, uh, a symbol, a symbol uh, of solidarity, a, a symbol of, of kindness. And every, every day, and every people that, that, that are impact, I told the people, you count on us. You count with the United States worker. You count with our family. And now our family is your family. And, and I saw during the last years, a lot of my sister and my brothers uh, did a lot of things, uh, great things, and I'm so proud of you. And I, uh, I'm so proud for the steel worker. And then I think, well, it's our time. My name is Marcy Brown. I'm the Municipal Enforcement Officer with the Town of Lavender City. I became involved with the union because when I started out uh, years ago, I've, I had to deal with some very difficult issues and it, um, it affected me. That was a difficult time. And on top of that, I was a female in an all-male work area. I would get up in the morning, I would sit on the edge of my bed and I would actually cry. And I would say, I can't do this. I just can't do this anymore. I would shake it off, I would pull myself together and I would go back into my work. And I, no matter how hard that it was, I made sure that I could get through the day. And I knew that by being as strong as I was, that it would be strength that would uh, benefit somebody else down the road. I really felt that everybody should be treated equal and the only way to get that was to step forward. A lot of people wake up in the mornings and they thank God for what they have. I thank my father for giving me the strength uh, to pick up for my, my rights and I thank the union for standing by me for each every time that I've had to fight for my, on my behalf. You need to take that power and use that drive to push you forward. If I can do it, you can do it too. So I work at Owens, Illinois in Los Angeles, California, and we make glass containers for various different customers. So my moment when I decided to step up was when the, the company was abusing their power with um, the union members, and I saw them all like my mom. My mom doesn't speak good English. She worked there for 38 years, and pretty much all of my sisters and brothers in there, the ones that couldn't speak for themselves, they needed somebody to advocate for them. So at that point, I'm like, you know what? I speak good English. I know how to verbalize what I want to say, so why am I going to just sit here and walk through and let all this stuff happen? I need to step up and take action. My fears when I ran for union president was that I was running against two male adversaries. So I'm thinking, okay, there's never been a woman president in our union. I'm running against two guys, so I don't know how this is going to work. So luckily for me, all the work that I had done spoke for me. I didn't go out there and tell people, you know what, I can do this for you. I asked the people that I helped do me a favor. 
make sure everybody knows what I did for you. So every individual that I helped out, they went out there and got the word across and I was lucky enough to win when the other two, we had one that got eight votes and the other one 30 and I took the majority. So I, I'll purposely sometimes walk in there nice, having the sweet little voice, but the moment that you do something to violate the contract, the law or whatever it is, then that's where we let them have it. And the fact that they underestimate me, they don't expect what's coming. The union is my family. So we try to teach our kids, including our daughter, that you always have to go and no matter how scared you are, you gotta hit the situation head on. Speak up and make sure that they know that you're a force to be reckoned with.